Hey, I'm Daniel. Welcome to the Film Crazy Show. I just wanted to queue up today's interview um, as I am talking with Jordan Hayes and Max Toplin for their new film, The Toll, which is in theaters on demand and available on digital today, March 26th. Yeah, The Toll is about is a new psychological horror film starring Max Toplin as a socially awkward driver and Jordan Hayes as a weary passenger whose journey together is threatened by an unseen evil. Yeah, that's the tool. So enjoy the interview. All right, awesome. So Jordan Hayes as Cammy and Max Toplin as Spencer in the Toll. It's great to talk to you guys. Great to meet you, Dan. Awesome. Nice to meet you. I wanted to start as well as co-leading the film. Uh, what was it like being producers on this project? Jordan, do you want to take it? It was uh, it was great. It was a lot of work. It was a huge undertaking for for Max and I, uh, just because of the nature of how it all came together and how quickly it all came together. Um, but it was it was great. It w- we were lucky enough that we had um, another producer as well, Will Frank, who was great, and we just both really fell in love with the script and really trusted our director, Michael Nader. So um, it was it was easier than it could have been, I guess. Yeah, and and one thing I'll add to that is, you know, producing and starring in a film, if this was any other genre of film where we could, where we had to look like we weren't up all night, you know, absolutely out of our minds, like murderous, insane people, uh, then it would not have worked because we were doing shooting all nights. We would, you know, wrap it around 8 a.m. And then Jordan and I would have to start the producing day, make sure all of our vendors were paid, made sure we had all of our equipment, you know, dealing with unions, whatever the case was, we had to do it during the day and shoot during the night. So it became a, a pretty vicious cycle of lack of sleep. And and I think that played into the performances, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think on average, we were, what, like maybe three, two, three yeah. hours a night? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and that was of sleep and not of filming? That yeah. was of sleep. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay. It was wild. So you yeah. start like filming at like 2 a.m. till 8 a.m. kind of thing? No, we would usually start our, our days, would start around like 6 p.m. Um, we were shooting, what time of year? It was, I guess it was September. So we pretty much had to, we had a pretty narrow window of when it was dark out. Um, so we would really just try and be ready to hit the ground running as soon as, as soon as the DP told us we were good to go lighting wise. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then shoot until the sun came up. And when it came up, when it came up, it was done. There was nothing we could do about it, you know? So it, it, it gave us this interesting every night we had a mad dash to the finish line and it wasn't up to us when the finish line you know occurred because when the sun comes up the sun comes up wow that sounds intense like and you, where which province did you guys film this in it was in ontario just outside of toronto in a, a region uh schaumburg ontario okay just in yeah really neat neat community really you know helpful we shot on this uh, amazing 400 acre estate uh, with a private road that we could shut down and, and use it as we please. And then we had the forest and we had we had homes on the land to to live and create within these these homes. It was it was amazing to have all the key creatives living together, eating together. You know, it's it was a really neat experience. Okay. i I felt like I recognize Ontario, so that's why I asked. <laughs> uh also um how how if you have an estimate, how long did you guys film in the van for? Um, I think that we pretty much like block shot everything in the, in the car was maybe five days, Max. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Between car moving and car not moving, uh, interior car scenes, probably about five days. Okay. That's, that's a good amount in a car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not all at once though. Mike, Michael Nader, the director, I know one, one of his keys going into it was claustrophobia. You know, and, and the idea of being trapped inside this vehicle with a complete stranger um, and kind of questioning, you know, rideshare and this new technology and how we interact with it, it, it really got us excited from day one. And I think he accomplished that claustrophobia quite well. Okay. And just, just the anxiety of not knowing who your driver is, who your passenger is, what was it like playing into that dynamic, if both of you wanted to answer? 
it was cool. I think it's something that's pretty relatable. I think everybody's probably been in a ride share where they um, kind of question their driver, at least for a second, um, especially maybe some young women. It might be more of a relatable thing for them. For sure. So like Max said, it, it was a, an interesting topical subject to kind of be able to dive into. Um, and then, yeah, I guess from Max's perspective, you were the driver question me yeah we, drivers, so you don't know. yeah so i can't tell but that was a new concept to me that that i was very interested by that the driver would be the one feeling a little bit kind of nervous about the situation and i guess you know when you look at cab robberies when you look at you know assaults that have taken place inside a, a conventional taxi or inside a ride share it goes both ways and that was eye-opening so Obviously, the numbers and the statistics make it seem that the passenger is probably in, in more danger than the driver. But it was interesting to think, OK, maybe maybe the driver does have a legitimate fear in this action as well. OK, and I, and I really think that did play into the psychological aspect of the film, just pitting you guys against each other. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad you thought so. We, we agree. Yeah, it's, okay. it's scary. that's fine. Well, what was it like on like off of off screen? Uh, how'd you guys get along? <laughs> uh, well, Max and I are best friends, so <laughs> but of course, with the uh, the tensions of of shooting and stuff, there were certainly some times where um, we let our characters kind of take over and maybe um, get a little bit frustrated with each other. But uh, I think that's just part of like the filmmaking process is that everything is such high octane and you're running on fumes, like Max said, like we were only sleeping two, three hours a night. Um, so there were certainly some times where it was, it's funny because because we are such best friends, it was like, okay, how do we create these two characters who, who are butting heads so much? And I think just the nature of the filmmaking process kind of brought some of that to light. For sure, for sure. And, and honestly, Thank goodness. I mean, I'll never forgive her. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but thank goodness for performance. You know, like in the end, Jordan and I love each other so much. Those scenes were were difficult. You know, where where we had to be uh, on opposing ends of the spectrum here and to really make it feel authentic. So I think filmmaking is so hard. It's such a team sport. It it involves debate and conflict and and it's nobody is always right you know that that's the thing with filmmaking it's kind of the eye of the beholder so you, we just gotta make sure that we can listen to each other and kind of understand what's best for the film and that's what we did i think in in this film specifically and as actors that tension played on screen quite well so okay i think so too um last question would you guys ever take a shortcut again <laughs> I think I've taken a few cents, uh, so probably yes. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I feel like I feel like it's just um, like Jaws. Don't go back in the water. Like the toll. Don't yeah. don't take a shortcut. Yeah, that's a good lesson. I like that one. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So Jordan Hayes as Cami and Max Toplin as Spencer. Thank you guys so much for chatting the toll with me on the Film Crazy Show. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Thank you, Dan. Awesome.